Hey guys, welcome to Toolless Tech Talk. I want to show you our rain catchment system on our boat. So the first piece I want to show you is our hard bimini that we built a couple years ago when we first got the boat. It's foam core and then we just fiberglass all over it, but we put a little PVC rim around it and that way it's like a little lip on top to catch some rainwater. And then I installed these outlets here and then just hooked up a little hose. And right now this is kind of a a semi-permanent solution but it's a way for us to capture water and then fill individual jugs back here rather than having all this water drain into our water tank we get a ton of flow on the rest of the rain catchment system so i wanted something that was just slightly different something where we could kind of isolate and fill separate jugs just to have more more options more capacity and stuff like that um and when we're not using it the tubes just so when we're not using these, the tubes just kind of hang down and I can have them go overboard or I can have them just be inboard in the cockpit and there's drains in the cockpit. So that works pretty well. Um, when we get a good rainfall, we capture a lot of water in that just in the individual jugs. But the main part of our water catchment system, of our rain catchment system is here. So we have this huge cabin top area. It's just a lot of surface area. And if rain gets caught in our sail cover, it also drips down onto this cabin top area. All I did was glued on some PVC trim. I actually routed out a little groove in here and then glued it onto the cabin top. So now all the water that comes onto the cabin top falls into this PVC rim and it drains down here. This is kind of just a little bit of a fast job to see if it'd work. Um, if I was gonna do it again, I'd kind of probably like epoxy this nipple in and just make it really nice and clean for now I just 4200 it in just to see if this concept would work but all the water drains right down into this nipple and then I have this little tubing system that comes from the other side as well comes straight down and then when it rains and everything gets rinsed off and if we have to wash the cabin top at all it all gets washed off um, as soon as everything is nice and clean I just take the cap off our water tank fill right here and I stick our rain catchment tube right in our water tank um, that works amazing it catches a lot of water now that's our rain catchment system it's been helping us for the past few months cruising through the Bahamas and the Caribbean mostly in the Caribbean here in the rainy season um, and it's been holding us over while we are trying to figure out if we're going to get a water maker or not. Drinking rainwater is actually really nice. It's got a nice little flavor. If you're used to drinking rainwater, you can really recognize it. And uh, yeah, it just saves us a ton of water because in through the Bahamas and the Caribbean, it's really a pain in the butt to have to come off anchor to go to a marina to fill up with water. And then a lot of the times water is expensive. Um, you know, it could be 15, 20 cents a gallon U.S., um, sometimes a little cheaper than that. But the other thing is you don't know the quality of it. In places like Dominican Republic where you could fill up with plenty, plenty of fresh water, but it wasn't necessarily water you would want to drink. Um, you probably wouldn't get sick from it, but it would just make you feel a little bloated and stuff like that. Um, in places like that, it's awesome just to be able to catch your own rainwater. So yeah, it's been working really well for us. Hope this gives you guys some ideas on how you can make a rain catchment system. I know a lot of people do it from their canvas or their sail bag. Um, and stuff like that and it works really well so let us know in the comments what you think and if you have any other ideas or questions and we'll talk to you later